hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux on virtualbox on your mac os computer now the first thing we want to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your browser and then search for virtualbox now click on the first link which heads to virtualbox.org and then click on the downloads right here now we have to download the latest version of virtualbox from here and you can see this is for windows this is for mac os this is for linux so we're going to select for mac os and it should start downloading now the next thing we have to download is kali linux installation so let's open a new tab and then head to kali.org okay now click on the download button on your screen and it should take you down here now you can install either using the installer image or virtual machines in this video we are going to install kali linux using virtual machines so this is a pre-built virtual machine of kali linux which we can extract and then start using immediately so let's click on virtual machines and it will take us down here now scroll down and then click on kali linux for virtual box right here and it should start downloading now after downloading virtual box and kali linux we can then close our browser and then open our download folder and here we go this is kali linux for virtualbox and this is virtualbox so first we have to install virtualbox by double clicking on it okay so we double click on the virtualbox.pkg icon and then we can follow the prompt continue install enter your password to confirm you're the one performing this action and it should start installing VirtualBox. Successfully installed. Now we can click on close and then move to bin. Okay, so we're done with installing VirtualBox. So we can go to our launchpad and here we can find VirtualBox right here. Now these are previous machines I installed on my VirtualBox. So let's head back to our download folder. And then here you can find our downloaded Kali Linux file. Now double click on it to extract. Now let's open the extracted folder. And here we go. You can see two files. Kali Linux .vbox and .vdi. Now .vdi is the disk image file and .vbox is the file we're going to use to run it. So double click on Kali Linux .vbox and it should load up in VirtualBox. So here on VirtualBox, you can see Kali Linux now showing right here. Now select your machine and then click on settings. Now go to system. The base memory is your RAM, which you can increase or reduce whenever you want. So I'm going to give it about six gigs of RAM since I have 16 gig on my PC. You shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. Same with the processor. I'm going to allocate 2 since I can run up to 4. You shouldn't allocate more than 50% of your processor to your virtual machine. Now go to display and then enable 3D acceleration. And then we can click on OK. Now we can start our machine by clicking on start. Now if you get a prompt like this, simply click on open system preference. Now let's unlock. And then we allow VirtualBox to capture input from our keyboard so we can use our keyboard. Now let's click on quit now and it should close the virtual machine and we can restart it again. So let's close this. Close the machine. Power off. And then open VirtualBox again. And then start our machine. okay so here we go now the default username is kali and the password is kali as well and that's all basically now you can access your files do whatever you want to do with your kali linux machine if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one